Hey family, welcome back to the channel. Prophetess Nikki here. I have a powerful word of encouragement that I want to give you to those that God has waited for so long. He waited so long, didn't he? It's the reason why God had to wait. God allowed things to die in your life. He allowed things to drop off in your life. He did that on purpose. God is very intentional when he gets ready to bless his people. Yes, he is. Because the people that were connected to you, family, they didn't deserve anything that God was getting ready to give you. That's right. God was not going to allow your enemies to reap off of anything that he gives you. No. See, God knows the reason why people stick around in your life. God knows, family. See, God knows that you were getting ready to be elevated. God knew you were getting ready to be increased. And your family knew it. Your friends know it. Your associates knew it. The people that you were closest to. These people knew this. And God allowed your life to look like death. Your life looked like it was not going to be resurrected. Your life looked like it appeared that you were not going to come back from this. But you're going to bounce back from this family. But God allowed things to die. You maybe have gotten to a certain age in your life. And now here comes God answering your prayers. Maybe you've been waiting on something for a long time, family. I can understand. I've been where you are. But God's timing is not our timing. Always remember this, family. God's timing is not our timing. God allowed things to die in your life. He did. He allowed things to die in your life because he wanted to show you how powerful he is. God wanted to show you, family, and he's going to show the people in this world that it's not too late for you, family. No, it's not too late for you. Maybe you've been praying for your healing for years, and now God is going to manifest that healing. Maybe you've been praying for a long time for God to give you your dream job, your dream home. Maybe you've been praying for a long time for the salvation of your loved ones to restore your marriage. Maybe you've been praying for a long time for God to touch the hearts of your children, to come in the fold and to serve the Lord. Now, God said, now is the time. I came to declare that to you today. Now is the time. It wasn't the time whenever you thought it was the time. Not so. It wasn't the time, family, because who was connected to you? Yes. God exposes motives. God revealed motives. God revealed the intentions of the heart of the people that are connected to us, family. And it doesn't matter how long God waits. He promised you. God keeps his promise. Look how long it took for David, a shepherd boy, to become king. When he was anointed with the horn of oil, glory to God. He did not sit on a throne that day. No, he did not. He went right on back to tend to the sheep. Look how long God allowed Abraham and Sarah to wait for the promised child. It took them a long time. They were in the latter part of their life. Yes, when things weren't working properly in the lives of Abraham. Yes, when the flow wasn't flowing from Sarah. Glory to God. Now here comes God giving her the miracle at that part of her life. And I came to encourage each and every one of you today. I came to encourage you that the latter part of your life is going to be greater. God promised you. It doesn't matter how long it takes. It doesn't, know, it doesn't matter when. It doesn't matter how. It doesn't matter where. You have to know that God is going to do exactly whatever he promised you, family of God. He promised, but he waited till things died in your life, didn't he? Yes, he did. He did that on purpose. God allowed things to die in your life so that he could reveal to you what kind of God that he is. Now the revealing is getting ready to come in your life. The revealing is getting ready to come. A refreshing is getting ready to come, family. It's over now. It's over for your enemies now. It's over for Satan now. He should have killed you when he had the chance. He should have took you out whenever he had the chance. Yes, whatever he could have did to you, he should have did it to you then. Because now I come to tell hell that it's too late now. You are above. You will never again in your life be beneath. You are a lender. You will never be a borrower. You will always be a distribution for the kingdom of God, family. God allowed things to die in your life. He did it on purpose. He did this on purpose to show forth his glory, family of God. God is a promise keeper. God is not a promise breaker, family of God. This is a new day for you. It is a new day for you, family of God. If you believe this word, if you receive the word of the Lord, 
share this video give it to somebody family who need the encouragement family we are helpers one to another god waited he waited until things were dead he waited he did it on purpose so he could resurrect it god wants you to know family that he's the god of the breakthrough he's the god of the resurrection he's god of life family god didn't want certain people connected to you when this next blessing come in they don't deserve your blessing they don't deserve to eat at your table no they do not they don't deserve family of god to reap the benefits of what god is getting ready to give you this is why god waited to things look like it appeared that it would be, it was dead but it wasn't dead no god just had it in a stage until that time and that time is now family of god the time is now i want you to know that god promised and i want you to know that god is going to keep his promise to you now when god keeps his promise to you you got to keep yours to god because you have been praying and asking god when you open that door for me god i'm going to do this for you i made a vow to god so god said now he expects you to uphold your word to him your word has to be your bond family of god i came to tell you today that what you thought was dead it wasn't dead god just held it it was in an incubation period you are in an incubation stage up until now now glory to god a revealing is getting ready to come yes it is your promised child your promised seed the promise of your finances your promised deliverance that day is here that day is here family yes it is the restoration that you have been preaching to yourself to that day is now that day is now family i love y'all so much thank you for what you are doing on a daily basis i want to thank god for all of you who are authentically with me on this journey because whoever you hook up to when they're hooked up to god the oil is going to flow on you glory to god always sow back into the anointing that you are reaping from if you are reaping from an anointing you got to sow back into that anointing family of god i love you so much god bless you we're going to talk later if it be the will of the lord god intentionally get this in your spirit and you keep it there god intentionally shut things up for you he did that on purpose he intentionally allowed your womb to be closed. He allowed you not to flow. He intentionally allowed your finance to be stagnant for such a time as this. Because God was not going to allow you to give your blessings to Satan. No, when God blesses you, that blessing is not for your enemies, family of God. Not for your enemies. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for what y'all do. We're going to talk later if it be the will of the Lord. I'm so excited for this day in your life because that day has now come it is now family not tomorrow that day is now your promise is now receive this promise from god god bless you i love you we'll talk later bye bye